Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Thank you guys for joining us here in Dallas, Texas, Dr. Hassan. You are uh, anxiously anticipated, and you, Linda, you are as equally welcome today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, you guys are talking about a subject that my audience has told me that they don't talk about it there in their families. It's just like, oh, you know this, but they don't really talk about it. So I'm hoping that you guys, as the professionals, can help us break a little taboos here today. Now we'd oh, love, to, love do to do that. Hey, can I start with you, Dr. Hassan, and tell me about uh, uh, minding America's mental health? Yeah, so Linda and I have always known that there's a problem with access to care and quality care. And, and so, you know, across my time in establishing Cohen Military Family Clinics across the country, I've had this on-ground experience that really kind of validated our thought that you know, patients are having a hard time getting access to quality care, and many of them don't have the resources to cover the cost of care. And many of the providers that I've spoken with uh, have high caseloads, and frankly, they're burnt out. And then talking to the CEOs uh, across America, learning firsthand from them on how hard it is to meet the demand with the limited resources they have around reimbursement and grant funding. So it made sense that we conduct a study where we can actually hear from Americans across the country to get their perspective, their attitude on access to quality care. And Valder, you mentioned that people have a stigma about getting care. One of the interesting findings we had in the survey is that's really diminishing, particularly among young people, which is very important. And that being able to get help has become the number one problem. One of the things we found is that six out of every 10 Americans has looked for help for themselves or someone they love. And three quarters of all Americans, almost 76 percent, believe that getting mental health care is as important as getting care for a physical condition. That's a real sea change. Okay, so the root cause of, of so many numbers that are uh, grouped in this mental health problem, can someone, either of you, give me an idea why do we have so many people having mental health challenges? There's a lot of speculation about that. Some of it is attributed to the fast pace that we live in, to the use of technology, to the extreme among people. And certainly people are more likely to talk about the trouble they're having in ways they never did before. And when they're talking about it, we definitely need to make sure that when they ask for help, we're available to them. And I think for me, that's the crux, crux of this is, I want folks to know when you ask for help, we're going to be there. And frankly, we're not doing a good job of that across America. Most Americans ask their primary care doc where to go and what to do. And so for older people, people my age and even a bit younger, we have to make sure doctors are educated. Younger people tend to go on the Internet. We have something called Mental Health First Aid, which is a course that teaches you about mental illnesses and where in your local community you can get help and the Stephen Cohn clinics are being established across the country. And those are the clinics that I'm establishing, and I'd like to really talk about how we can change the system. So if reimbursement is a challenge, if a high demand and low reimbursement is a challenge, one way to address that is through philanthropy. Mr. Cohen has provided $275 million to the Cohen Veterans Network to ensure that we reduce all barriers to care and that when a veteran or military family member need help, they can get help. That's so they, a model I think we need to move forward in America. This is a call to action for philanthropy, but it's also a call to action for government resources. And we're trying to establish certified community behavioral health clinics in every community so people of all incomes can get the help that they need. I like that. I want my audience to know that Dr. Hussan is the chief executive officer and president of Coin Veterans Network. 
and my lovely guest, Linda Rosenberg. She's the president and CEO of the National Council for Behavioral Health. You guys talk exactly what my audience needs to hear, but one of the things I'd like, I like what you said, Linda, those people who are locked out of the system. I work a lot with the homeless. I do a lot to do my part or whatever I can, but they're locked out of the system. Where do they find help? They're lost out of the system, and their relatives are equally as lost who are trying to get them help. And so the Certified Community Behavioral Health Clinic that we're advocating in Congress, we want all Americans to be supporting it, would make sure that everyone had a place to go in their community. Right now, they could go to our websites to get more information. But if they want to get help, you know, we need to make sure that the providers are paid equal to medical providers. Mental health providers and medical providers need to be reimbursed in the same way. We need to have access, but if we don't have providers ready and willing to support them, we're going to struggle to meet this demand. And certainly, if you want to learn more about the study, you can go to the CohenVeteransNetwork.org. Or the NationalCouncil.org. Those are two resources that my audience can use. If the, you could speak to these people personally, because out there helping the homeless, I see a lot of veterans on the street, and that's so disturbing. It but is. If there's anything that we could say to their family members, uh, Dr. Hussan, you first, and then Linda, could you guys give us a word of inspiration? When you raise your hand to get help, we need to be there for you. But I can tell you, once you're in the door, the treatment that you will get will help you. And you're not alone. Uh, mental illness touches all of us and our families. And we're dedicating ourselves to make sure you get the help you need and want. I love people with a purpose and a passion, and it seems both of you are, are doing that. So thank you for gracing the Valder BB Show and talking to my audience. You'll never know the lives you've changed, but I know you have changed them. Thank you thank so much. Thank you so much. much. Thank you.